Welcome to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we have a very exciting unboxing. Um, this is the Ronda Rousey Ultimate Edition. Now, I did order this off of eBay um, because I had a coupon, and I only I picked this up for the low, low price of ten dollars um, with the coupon taken off, of course. So it did arrive with the box a bit damaged, which is upsetting, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's it's very really dented right here. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the front of the box actually. She comes with three hands cans all together, um, an extra pair of ho uh, arms, um, a jacket, I think that's supposed to be, yeah, a jacket, um, her little, don't know what this is called, but you know, this thingy, and then <laughs> uh, two pairs of hands, um, it says Ronda Rousey at the top, only oh, side it says Ronda Rousey in Ultimate Edition, shows her right there. So on the back of the box, as I said before, it is damaged right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a little caved in there. Um, this is like a figure um, picture for the back, which is very surprising to me. Um, usually they would use an actual picture of the wrestler for the Ultimate Editions. Um, or maybe not. I'm not too sure. I haven't unboxed one in a while, actually. Um, but it shows a normal picture of her at WrestleMania right here. It just shows 5'7 from Venus, California. Her finisher was the armbar, and she was a Raw Women's Champion. I'm not going to read this right here, but if you guys would like to read it, you can pause it and read it for yourselves. And it talks about her winning the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. And, like, her WrestleMania match. And, like, how why she does a tribute to Rowdy Rowdy Piper. So anyways, let's get this out of the box and let's start looking at it. So this is what everything does look like outside of the box. You have your normal Ronda Rousey figure there. You do have her two head scans. That one, they both fell over. We'll look at those later. Um, extra pair of arms. This is, in fact, a jacket. I didn't think it was a jacket at first cause, cause, just because it's so tiny. Um, but I guess it is. So there is this again. I don't know the name of it. Um, that's a tribute to Rowdy Rowdy Piper, though. And then, of course, an extra pair of hands. So, let's take a look at the figure right now. She comes with her rowdy um, tank top, I think they're called. I'm not too sure what they're called, to be honest. Tank top, I'm pretty sure. Um, her normal um, shorts. Uh, her arm, her hand uh, glove thingies. Not too sure what they're called. Um, the face scan on the, the first one's not terrible. Um, it's more of a uh, fighting look for uh, Rousey. Um, the other, uh, face scans, I think, are much better. This is more of a serious face, but they kind of fade a little bit on it. It kind of looks funny, in my opinion. On this one, she has a smiling face, maybe for a contract signing, maybe, or, um, if she's just coming out for a promo or anything. Um, and then the other one is the same way, but her hair is different. So this one will probably be for a promo. This one for maybe when she's walking down the entrance, and then this right before the match. Fighting face, smiley face with a ponytail on it, I think, ponytail, I'm not too sure, I think it's a ponytail. And then this one with her hair on the side, uh, maybe for interviews or promos or something. So, they do have a removable arms, I guess this is uh, for a professional looking Ronda. Um, this face will probably go best with it. So, actually, yeah, let's put this face on and all this stuff and I'll be back. After... Literally like 10 to 15 minutes of trying. I finally got the stuff on This is the worst figure I've ever held in my hands the absolute worst and this is very upsetting for me actually um The jacket hardly fits on her the limbs barely go in like the hands Alone see, they're not even in all the way. They're so hard to get in the head scan is very hard to get on the jacket and the arms, oh, it's just a complete fail by Mattel, in my opinion. Maybe it's the figure that I got, I'm not too sure, but this is just an embarrassment. Um, like, these, the limbs don't fit together, like, hardly at all. And, like, I bet if I pull on that a little bit, it'll come off. Well, no, that's the one's actually in there. But, man, actually, they're not, okay. So, this just took so way, way too, way, 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 way too long to get on i mean with all the other um ultimate editions i mean it's like snap off snap off snap on but this round of figure was so difficult to get to stuff this just to get stuff to snap in place i can hardly talk right now <sighs> but anyways i was actually wrong uh, this is her wrestlemania entrance attire right here um 
But yeah, I mean, if you look right here on this, like the jacket's a little, um, like scuffed, not scuffed, like curled up almost, and it just makes the hands so difficult to get in. Um, the head, like, refused to go on. That took forever to get on. This was kind of difficult. Um, and just the jacket in general, it's like you have to put the jacket on first and then the arms. And even that's difficult because the jacket hardly wraps around fully. Um, this is what it does look like. I'm not going to the struggle of putting the other head scan on right here. Um, I mean, not a bad figure, but, I mean, the limbs and stuff, replacing them with other ones, absolutely terrible. Also, her feet bend all the way up for some reason. Not too sure why. They bend all the way down and all the way up. No one's foot is like this. Like, why did Mattel do that? Not too sure. It's like little hinges on here. Maybe for a cake, but whose foot goes like this? Come on. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was it's cool that I got it for 10 bucks with the uh, coupon. But it's a good figure. But just the limbs are so bad. They, like, refuse to go in all the time. It took me so long just to get the jacket, arms, head scan, and this on. It took me way too long um, to do it. But, I mean, the head scans aren't bad. Uh, good job by Mattel. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this. As, as I said before, I'm not putting this head scan on just because it'll take way too long. Um, so, anyways... Uh, let me know what other figures you, you guys would like to see me unbox in the future. And anyways, I hope you all did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys next time.